Welcome to Kama Jojo Outdoors World. Here you will discover the finest animal videos and hunting equipment. Formerly, four-legged animals walk in this way. Wild boar, goat, Labrador retriever, lion, 1530. But it's a given that there'll be an exception to every rule. Like bears. Black bear, brown bear, polar bear, 15. So why do bears stand or fight on two feet? If you have ever observed a baby's development, you will find this to be intuitive. At first, your baby will constantly be climbing on everything in sight, 510. But when his strength of the limbs is exercised in crawling, he will try to stand up by pulling something. Curious kids, in particular, often discover that standing up provides a broader perspective. They will be overjoyed and make additional attempts to stand. Well, when you understand why a baby try to stand up, you can know why bears stand on two feet. The bears are the same reason. Standing on two legs provides a bear with enhanced senses of sight, sound, and smell compared to when it is on all fours. That's why when they stand up, all they want to do is look forward. Generally speaking, black bears are very inquisitive creatures. They use their noses a lot and may even rear up on their hind legs to survey their surroundings and take deeper sniffs. This is not an aggressive sign, but rather a common occurrence. Young boys often have to take numerous steps backwards in order to see over the grass. If a bear can't identify you, it may raise itself on its hind legs to get a better look or sniff you out. Bears are known to fight in a bipedal stance, which is different from that of canids and large cats. This phenomenon has long baffled scientists. Bears, according to some studies, are much larger when they are upright. They only stand up to demonstrate how massive and strong they are. Another amusing detail is that preventing conflicts is a top priority for bears. This is the safest option in nature, where everyone wants to avoid getting hurt. By raising itself on its hind legs and making a lot of noise, a bear lets its fellow bears know that a. it is large enough to cause significant harm, and b. the other bear would be wise to stay away. Although their claws and teeth are effective in combat, a bear's forepaws and claws are its primary weapons. They are able to better grab each other and grapple when they are standing on two legs. Between grapples and bites, each bear will take a swipe at the other in an effort to knock it to the ground and send it running away. Fights between bears typically last until one or both of them become exhausted, give up, and flee. This behavior is common among carnivores. 1020. What a strange occurrence. Well, that's all. Like what you see. Consider becoming a subscriber. Thank you.